Good morning. I'm Ruth Johnson. I'm Project Archivist with the Royal Manchester Papers, which is part of Special Collections and Archives at Owen Memorial Library. Best-selling author Royal Manchester arrived at Wesleyan in 1955 and would stay here until his death in 2004. He wrote all but four of his 18 books here. This morning, we we'll offer a portrait of a writer. Joining me is Jenny Miglas, archival assistant with the Manchester Papers, and John Manchester, Royal Manchester's son and Wes alum. Jenny and I will discuss Manchester's childhood and then professional career, and John will speak about his father and wrestling. Afterwards, we'll have questions and answers. Jenny will get us started. Adjusted second. Okay. In this note from Mrs. Manchester to her son, William Jr., she writes, Dearest Bill, the picture is of your great grandmother and great grandfather, Mr. and Mrs. John Nicholson Wilkinson. He was a cashier of a bank in Norfolk before the war, civil that is. I forget the name, but it is now the Trust Company of Norfolk. I do hope you will like it and treasure it. Dearest love, Mom. William Raymond Manchester, Jr. was born in Attleboro, Massachusetts on April 1, 1922. His parentage bridged the Mason-Dixon line. His mother's family was from Virginia, his father's family from Massachusetts. They met when his father was recuperating in Norfolk from disabling wounds sustained as a Marine during the First World War. In, in spite of severe physical handicaps, the senior Manchester was an independent and capable man who became the Western Massachusetts Supervisor of Public Welfare. The father's expectations had a lasting influence on his eldest son. Manchester Jr. had one brother, Robert, 14 years younger. Manchester started school in Attleboro. The famous author is seen here at age six, three rows up, first on the left. But the family soon moved to Springfield. Although not physically strong, Manchester was an active Boy Scout. Here you see a program for the annual father and son banquet. Mothers are thanked for their help in making the event a success, which probably means they cooked. 